When the BSU and UMD football teams hit the gridiron this weekend, it'll be a historic matchup. For the first time in their 56 meetings, the Beavers and Bulldogs will both be ranked nationally. But UMD has had the upper hand as of late, winning 14 straight over BSU, the most recent a 14-9 win last year. The Beavers say they're out for revenge this time around, though, as the winner will take over the top spot in the NSIC North. I've used that a little bit with our guys going. We're just going to have to do what they did to us last year. I, I felt like we were the better team, hands down, last year, especially with their stud quarterback being out. They found a way to win. They played good defense and special teams, and all of a sudden, you know, we couldn't find a, a way to stop them at times, and they slowed us down offensively. So we need to flip the script on, on that this year and go over and, and do the same thing they did to us last year over here. We do think about it, but most importantly, the game that motivates us this week because we know it could get us to the playoffs if we win. But injuries are still a big concern for the Beavers this week. Numerous players are listed as questionable, including quarterbacks Jordan Hine and Nick Mellum. If they can't go, redshirt freshman Jared Henning would be the next man up at QB for the Beavers. It would be my first start. Um, if I get out there, just put the team in a chance to win. I got a great old line in front of me. I got great receivers. They make plays all the time. And we got three great running backs. So not as much pressure on me because I just got great guys around me. We have a great defense. So. If I get out there, I'm just going to hopefully put my team in a chance to win. Regardless who we go play, we got to play well enough. I don't care how it works out. Uh, instead of winning by 30, let's win by one. So that's really just who's ever available at that point. Let's go. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.